why 60 second videos are not the best choices for you as a real estate agent and how you can better your video performance I will go into you today. If you are an agent that is not including video marketing, stop right here. Don't watch the video any further because those tips will not serve your business without videos. But if you want to do videos, give me five minutes of your time and I will explain to you why 60 second videos is not the best choice for your business and how you can get a better performance for your video. We have created a sheet sheet so that you can better perform with your videos, what you can do before, during, and after doing videos. Just put down below video performance and I personally will message you the sheet sheet so that your videos perform much, much better. But we go into right now why 60 second video is not the best choice and it is very simple we as agents are in a service related business there is a lot of money involved and people don't make decisions on 60 second videos you cannot convince somebody to choose you over anybody else with your 60 seconds video, especially when you are educating your people in your community about the market, about what is going on, um, about buying and selling properties, everything what is involved in their community. When you are doing 60 seconds videos, you cannot show your expertise in 60 seconds. And that's why we are doing and recommending our students to do three to six minutes video. A sweet spot is five minutes because we have people watching our videos, but also we know people's attention span is very, very small. So especially when you are educating your people through video. So we recommend three to five, six minute videos where you can go a little bit deeper into content and now showcase that you are the trusted advisor that you are an agent who know exactly what is going on and has the uh, expertise in buying or selling in your community. And then we are taking and studying the videos and that's why we know what is going on with our videos. When I am going in the background, I can watch everybody, uh, people, how many people watch 25%, 50%, 75% and 100% of our videos. Yes, I can do this. We do have 100% video view, five to six minutes. And what does it tell me? The content is interesting enough for our audience. And now we will do more of these videos. If I see my video drop off is very high between 25% and um, 50% or 15 seconds and 25%. Now I know something is not right on the video performance. Maybe my introduction is too long, but I know I have to change something. So that is how we are working our videos. And that is how we see what video work and which videos didn't work. And the best thing is even if I want to spend a little bit money as low as a dollar a day, now I can get very targeted and put another video in front of people who watched already our videos. And that is how you stay top of mind in your community with your people because you are producing new content. At least you should be very educational, be very serving to people. And now they see you are the only choice and blend everybody else out. And that's why it is important that you do videos and stay away from 60 seconds. Just put a few videos along. 60 seconds video have their place, but not when you are getting in front of an audience that doesn't know you yet. So I hope this video helped me. And if you want your videos to perform better and want to know what you have to do before, during, and after a video, put down below video performance and I will message you our sheet sheet so that you can implement it today.